Oh my goodness, guys. Do y'all see that? That is so sad. I feel bad. For, watch out, you. I feel bad for little Ziggy. He's just okie dokie. is harassing the heck out of him. Oh my gosh. What, what are they doing? Guys, What what is going on over here? They're just running laps around the whole property. Oh my goodness. I don't even... That is crazy how fast they are. I can't tell who's faster. Oh my, I feel, they are so fast. That is some crazy supersonic speed. I gotta go in there and help them out. I feel really bad for them. Oh man, I can't believe that. All right, let's get in here. Okay, Ziggy, I'm so sorry, buddy. Yikes. Okay, Oki finally left him alone. But that answers the question I've always wondered, I suppose. Or it doesn't really answer it, but it gives me a chance to kind of visualize firsthand. I've always wondered who was the fastest in our pasture, the fastest animal we had. I've always said it was either between Ziggy or Oki. And right there on full display, you've seen both of them running like madmen. Ziggy running away and Oki chasing after. Buddy, that wasn't nice. Dude, that wasn't very nice at all. And the crazy part is I don't even know what to do about that to stop it from happening. I don't know if how much of it was like playing versus how much of it is like... So Oki's just bad, it turns out. Oki's chasing everything. The emu, the kitties. I've seen him chase the goats a few times. Thankfully he has a harder goal, so it's only playing. But even so. Maybe Oki knows that I'm trying to get the animals on a health regimen trying to help them lose a little bit of weight so he's trying to do some of the work for me i'm taking care of the nutrition part and he's taking care of the the exercise or the physical activity part <laughs> oh man daffy isn't he so crazy baby oh my that is i'm just i can't believe i just witnessed all that that is insane you guys <laughs> whoa 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 hey 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 Settle down. That was weird. Hey guys, Ellie here. Today, I got a kind of a funny video to show y'all, or a funny thing to show y'all in this video. So as you can tell by the sky, it's very overcast. And just looking around, it kind of, you can tell it's damp, it's wet. And the reason why is obviously it just rained a little bit ago. Oki's fur is a little bit wet as you can see. It was raining, it rained hard for about 10 or 15 minutes and then it stopped. I'm actually, the forecast is projecting a lot of rain in the next few days. So I'm thinking what might could be a good idea is to get some ryegrass seed, try to throw it out right here. Normally, when we try to plant seed, the geese eat it before it can ever sprout into anything. That's why the geese are the bane of my dad's existence. But I'm thinking that if we're going to have some rain, then the geese don't usually come out in the rain trying to pick all the seed. So maybe if we can pour it out right before it rains, then it'll give it a chance to kind of get buried underground and sort of start to, what's the word? Sprout. That's another subject for, that's another story for a different day though. Today, in any case, I wanted to show y'all something funny. So we got all of our friends, all of our friends in this barn right here, you know, Annie, got Lulu, Ernie, Pickles, Gus Gus, Sissy, Bambi, Tilly, He's doing very well, by the way. Um, hey, hey, Oki. Uh, there's Finn and Starla. They were all just in the barn a second ago, but I guess now that there's Weta over there and Ringo and his usual barn over here, everybody except Ringo was in here just a moment ago, but I guess since the rain has stopped, they're kind of starting to come out again and you know do their usual things. But it was funny that during the rain, Almost every single goat was in their shelter right here. Ringo doesn't count. Ringo is right here in this barn. Ringo thinks he's a pig. He has the same uh, energy levels as a pig does. So I guess he thinks that he needs to sleep where the pigs sleep in that case. <laughs> but you know, excluding Ringo, every, every other baby was in that barn every, over there. Or maybe I should say almost every baby was in this barn right here. There's probably a few names you didn't hear that you were wondering where they might be. Where's Hero? Where's Walter? 
where's old mama? Where's Carrie? Well, let me show you and tell me if you don't think this is the coolest thing ever. And take a look over here, guys. Here's where the other four are that we didn't see in the other barn. Isn't that the craziest thing ever? <laughs> it's almost like they know. It's almost like they know their lineage somehow. That's crazy. What are the, guys, what are the odds of that? Think about it like this. Over there by the other barn is all of the I'm a survivor bloodline. You know, your, uh, your Ringo, Starla and Finn, Tilly, uh, just everybody else, Sissy, everybody else over there was either brought here themselves by an I'm a survivor caretaker, me, my dad, Jamie, Meg, or they were the offspring of a goat brought here by an I'm a survivor caretaker. Do y'all get what I mean? All the goats over there are part of the I'm a survivor bloodline, if you will. And then coincidentally enough, or maybe not so coincidentally, the specific four that come right here in this barn are the pawpaw bloodline, the lineage of pawpaw's goats. Uh, old Mama and Carrie being, you know, ones that Pawpaw rescued himself. Or, or actually, Old Mama was one that Pawpaw rescued himself. And Carrie was born to one of Pawpaw's goats. And then Hero being the son of Old Mama. And then Walter being the son of Carrie right there. Y'all get, get what I mean? The Pawpaw bloodline right here. And the I'm a survivor bloodline over there. And that just blows my mind. I wonder if it... There's no way that could be purely coincidental. And I'm not saying that they were trying to like split up or be apart from each other because 90% of the time they're all in the same barn over there anyways. But it's almost as if whenever it started raining, these four kind of just knew that they share the same blood and decided to huddle up together right here to wait out the rain. I mean, the rain's over now, so there really isn't a need for them to be huddled up anymore. But like, maybe they're just having fun relaxing. They're hanging out. Oh, Robbie. Oh yeah, Robbie's doing great. I've uh, I felt a little bit. I wasn't worried for him, but it was a little bit sad because you know I'm kind of a little bit protective of him, and y'all know how much of a responsibility I feel to take care of him since Marie from Random Oaky Farms trusted me to be able to bring him here for this to be his forever home. So I've definitely wanted to do right by him and make sure he can live the best life possible, but. I guess it concerned me a little bit. The first few days that I would throw out food and watch them eat, he kind of got bullied off of the food by the geese and even by, I wouldn't say these other ducks were bullying him off of it necessarily, but they definitely were, you know, sticking their big old bodies in the way and not letting him get a bite. So I tried my best to, you know, just make sure that he ate a little bit on the side or try to distract the other animals so that he could have a little bit of a moment to go for the pile before they bum rushed, bum rushed him off of it. But we're getting to the point now to where things are significantly better. I usually feed in that general area over there, as y'all know. Hey, Daffodil. Come here, baby. There's little Daffy. Hi, baby. I've been feeding in that area, and I think the geese are starting to accept Robbie finally. And the other ducks, they were already friendly with him, but I think they're starting to be a little more, what's the word, courteous. Whenever Robbie's trying to squeeze in to get a bite to eat, they're not just shoving him out of the way so they can have more for themselves they realize that he is now one of them and he deserves to eat just as much as they do. Right guys? Isn't that a fact, huh? There, he's nodding his head, he's like, yep. Yeah, look, he's nodding his head, he's like, yep. Isn't that a fact? Yep, he says yes, and he wags his tail so he's happy. He's happy to accept Robbie. Hi hey, Daffodil, aren't you a little love bug? The little sweetie pie. You're so sweet, come here. I love this kitty cat. She's so very sweet. It's unbelievable. If y'all remember when we first got her and how feral and wild she was, she was like a, she felt like an untamable feral beast when we first got her. But now look at her. She's all lovey, all sweet and friendly. We worked hard on her and with him. He was a little bit easier. She was the hardest one to tame down. Orange over here was pretty easy to tame down. And old Chia, old Chia pet over there never needed any little bit of taming whatsoever. Ch -ch -ch Chia, Chia pet, Chia, Ch -ch -ch Chia, get your brand new Chia toy. It's a commercial. It's a silly little thing from the the eighties, the nineties. I forget what decade it was from. The, the the little Chia toys. 
I think that's what she's named after, actually. There's a little bit. And their sister. These are the two girls, and then little orange over there's the boy, in case y'all were wondering. Got them from a family friend of ours who lives really close to here. So close, in fact, that those cats could walk back home at any given moment. Well, I'm not gonna say that. This is home now. They could walk back to their former home anytime they wanted to. They actually could easily find their mama, their, their biological mother who still lives at that former home. But I, I'm grateful that they're so happy here and they're having so much fun here that they've chosen this as their new home. A lot of enrichment, a lot of toys, a lot of pets. They're allowed to go in the house. What could go wrong? <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Well, whoa. That was cool. That was a cool acrobatics. With all that said, I hope y'all enjoyed. Y'all be sure to let me know in the comments what kind of stuff you guys want to see. I hope you all have an incredibly blessed day. And as I always say, your boy Ellie out.